What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and today we're rocking the mags of holding once again. But today we're bringing back the AMR9 SMG with the Jack Eaton double barrel attachment. So this should be a lot of fun. This is one of the weapons I was looking forward to bringing back most once I actually had mags of holding. So now that we actually have mags of holding in the game, we can actually give it a shot. So I'm going to head over to our first contract. But before we do that, let me actually pop mags of holding. Let's do the dead shot. Let's do our perks just in general. That way we can head over to our first contract. A little bit suited up. Why not? We should be able to get over there super fast since we have this portal. Actually, probably didn't even need to take the portal over there, but might as well make sure we're the first ones there. Now, the cool thing is they actually buffed the AMR9 in general in zombies, or technically not in zombies, probably in Warzone. Right, be right, right after, I should say, I was going to say right before, but no, it was right after I made the last video on the Jack Eaton double barrel. So it's actually a little bit more fun to revisit it now that it was a little bit buffed since our last revisit. The one thing I am anticipating is going to be a problem with this is going to be the ammo. Is it, I don't know if you saw, we did not get a very large ammo. Yeah, we're going to run out of ammo for sure. Okay, well, luckily for us, there is ammo very, very close. I think it might even be close enough. Guy doesn't even get healed back up, but we'll see. We're going to run over here. He's going to follow us if we're quick. Should be okay. He might turn around and run back if he gets some health, whatever. 270, though. That's low. That might be one of the lower weapons we've done. At least we're going to finish him off. It might be a thing that just happens. Maybe once we pack a punch it, we get super juiced. That wasn't too bad, though. I wouldn't say it was terrible. I would blame the lack of ammunition more than I would anything else. Okay. Well, first contract down. I definitely want to hit the ammo thing again real quick. Then we'll head over to our next contract. No big deal. So first, I don't want to forget to pop my rare tool. Another thing I do want to mention is if anybody does try this with a different mag, because I didn't actually do it. In, in terms of some mags actually increase the reserve size, this one didn't seem to have a difference based on the different mags. It didn't seem to actually do that, so I didn't bother changing the magazine. So if anyone tries another mag or a larger mag on it and it does increase the mag size enough for it to be relevant, please let us know down in the comment section below because as you guys can see, I did not run a mag on this. And as always, if you guys are interested in the loadout we're running in today's video, make sure you check the pinned comment down below where I always try to do my best to include the attachments for easy access. So you guys can try the loadouts I run in my videos. So make sure you guys do check it out. This one does seem to pack a bit of a punch. Again, the big issue that we already talked about might just be the ammo situation, but we're not pack-a-punched yet, so we're not going to be, you know, we're not panicking. We're about to actually pack-a-punch here in a second. So, let me go ahead, pack-a-punch to level one, we got our tool, we're looking good, we got a, we actually do have a, a vehicle here too, and then I do need to head over to another contract, so make my way over there, we're kind of, we're cruising. We're cruising along. We'll be in the tier two zone before we know it. Now, it has been quite a while since I used this, so I don't remember exactly how well it did, but I don't remember it being super crazy good. So it definitely feels better than I remember it being last time up to this point. Dude, this thing is cooking. See you later, guy. See you later, guy. We already have that, but we'll hold on to it. Might need it for another run. You never know. All right, time to head to the tier two zone. I don't have an ammo mod though. So maybe I'll do a quick nest or something, trying to get one. All right, hopefully the first one's not a disciple because we're, we're not suited for that. It's a mimic, thank you. Whew. I mean, I guess we could pack a punch to level two, but I don't think that's going to be enough to take on a disciple when we don't have an ammo mod. What I was essentially trying to say there is a bad ammo mod might be worse than no ammo mod at all. I'm not really sure. You guys are at all knowledgeable about that i haven't really messed with that let me know in the comment section below this is definitely cooking i haven't even i mean i haven't shot a ton of bullets but this thing definitely feels like it's doing some work okay i don't know about the zombies okay we're doing good i don't have any plates though so this is danger Take the one plate, might as well. Not my smoothest fight of all time, but we got it. Nice. All right, what did we get? A death perception. I actually could have used that. Let me uh, let me go ahead and use that. So wheat. 
I mean, that was fairly easy. We don't even have, like I said, we don't even have an ammo mod, and that was not, that was not too challenging at all. All right. Hopefully, for the second one or the next one we grab, maybe we get a disciple. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna have to make my way over to another one. Probably gonna go to that way just to kind of avoid the competition. Right, I'm here farming some plates, and then we see a disciple. Pack one. No ammo mod. Pack one blue, I guess. Cooked. I mean, I would have to say this thing is definitely pretty strong. I mean, it's shooting. It's a double barrel SMG. It should be kind of strong, right? I mean, look at that. Pack one blue. Cooking like that. I don't feel like that's in the typical wheelhouse. I'm really hoping this other contract we're about to grab. Oh. Well, we're not grabbing it yet. We gotta get through the mimic. Okay, mimic's gone. Wow, I got a little crazy here. I just came to fight the zombies on the beach, hoping for some plates, and we got more than we asked for. I guess that's how it works sometimes in zombies, right? Alright, let me make my way over here. Boom, it's right there. Then we'll, we'll be able to check it out. If it's not a disciple, I'm going pack a punch level two. If it is a disciple, I definitely want to try it out. Unfortunately, we got a mimic. All right, we're going to go pack two. It would have been fun to see what we do against a disciple with this, but I don't want to waste too much time just on hope, you know? I just want to move through and just kind of see how we end up doing. Let's go ahead, cook this guy. Pack two blue is looking great. No ammo mod, and we're still doing fine. Kind of weird a disciple just spawned in because we destroyed his buddy. Yeah, he's getting cooked. I gotta look where the Stormcaller is. I feel like this is a good match to do that. You guys like it when I challenge the Stormcaller? Is that something you guys like to see in the videos? I felt like it was a, a new, like, fun thing to add that I didn't really have previously. And it is kind of fun to see if the weapon can do it. Because it's definitely kind of tricky. Not all weapons function the same. Especially when it comes to against Disciples. Disciples are a little bit on the stronger end. In some cases, I think the Tier 3 Disciple could be more challenging than like a Mega Abomination, depending on what you're working with. Alright, where's our guy at? Seems like a weird spot for him. He must be in here. Right? Yeah, he is. I can see him. Okay, we're not... Can't... Can't tell... It didn't seem like we were doing crazy damage, but we did a pack one blue, so there's no way we're not doing damage. I think it's just part of it's the, the range. Look how much more damage it does once he gets up close. Makes sense. It's part of the thing. It loses some damage range as a negative. Almost, almost went a little too risky there. Put a little bit too much faith in when that thing was going to get eliminated. Where, where'd you come from? Okay. Nice. I do want to get a Disciple, so I might try to get one more bounty since we're kind of cooking here on time. As long as it's available. Do I have any available? On the other side of the map again. Uh, I can try. I gotta get over there anyway. Let me make my way back to the other side and hopefully I'll be able to get a, another bounty on the other side. Or maybe one will spawn in. We, we'll never know. Until we do it. And like I said, you never know. And I walk right, like, right here and there was a freaking bounty. I do want to open that box. Yo, zombies. I'm gonna open this box I want to see if there's anything good in it. You guys cool with that? You're gonna have to be cool with it, because now there's a decoy out. Oh, perfect. We have at least... I guess I shouldn't leave blue tools behind. Someone might yell at me in the comment section. I don't want to be yelled at, bro. Alright, so now back to our adventure. I'm gonna actually hit this thing go over to our mangler. Dang it, we got a mangler. Unfortunate. See? When I want disciples, it says, no way, Jose. See? When I want disciples, no chance. But when I... Don't want anything to do with them. I get them all day long. That's how it works in this game. Zombies, you know? They know. Yeah, I'd like it if uh, I could get you to flinch, buddy. I don't want you to go too far away. I want to maximize my damage output against you. Yeah, you're gone. A jug. Getting all these schematics. They definitely made the schematics way more frequent. I mean, you could go... I don't even know how many matches. A ton of matches without seeing a single schematic, and now you see see them all the time. As long as you're doing the correct thing for the schematic to drop, it's basically going to drop. All right, I think at this point I'm going to go over and pack a punch to level three. Where is our 
Where's our dude, the Stormcaller? Oh, he's over here. We could go try to see if we can take him on, but I do want to pack the th pack a punch three first. So I'm going to go over to the redeploy drone and then head into the tier three zone, and then we'll see if we can hit up the Stormcaller, maybe. All right, pack a punch level three. We made it here. There's some people doing some contracts in the area. Nice. We're going to come back. We're, we're definitely going to be here soon. Gotta, come on, get over the ledge. Let's go. No. No. My car's stuck. Tragedy. All right, well, I'm going to the Stormcaller. I'll be there. I'll be there soon. All right, good news. The Stormcaller's here. Even better news. We're close to an ammo resupply right over here. I'm going to go to this side of the storm. That way we're good. Oh, we are not doing that much damage because it's the tier two zone. I'm very curious how this is going to go, though. We'll give it a shot. If it seems too unreasonable, we won't do it. So far, seems a little unreasonable. Because we are doing damage, but we're not doing enough. Oh, that's cool. And our buddy, we would have to get, we have to get close to him. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and hit this. We gotta plan this out. If we're gonna try this the right way. Oh, he's gonna... This might be the time. Okay, throw that. If we're gonna do damage... Oh, dude. Oh, the, the lightning, bro. I almost never get hit by the lightning. That's kind of weird. Eh, put that there. I would not say we're doing a lot of damage. It's actually more of an issue with the zombies. Did they extend his range with that? All right, we got to go back over here. We did some damage. Oh, we actually have double. Okay. I don't want to run out. This is going to be a little bit more of a task than I wanted it to be. But I think if we can get our energy mines pretty quick, it won't be that bad. The hardest part is the zombies. The zombies might actually be stronger than the Stormcaller. In retrospect. I know that sounds weird, but... Zombies are in numbers, and... Oh, he... Hold on. Time to throw this. Aim assist was trolling me bad. Alright, we can break it. That is the good news. The bad news is aim assist is way too good. All right, we gotta we gotta we gotta plan this out a little better. There's still so many freaking zombies built up. All right, they're coming back. Look how many there are. We still have one. We do have one more decoy before I actually have to recharge it. But since I'm pulling all these guys out, in case you guys want the strat, this is part of the strat. You try not to fight all the zombies in the storm unless you have to for some reason, because it's not gonna do much benefit for you. All right, we're gonna about to be able to hit this again. I'm actually gonna throw. I'm going to throw my decoy as a, at like a perfect time. Throw it. All right, now we have two decoys and that one's thrown still. Oh, that's a perfect timing. Not perfect timing for that. No, why was there two? This one's even stronger. What? Oh my God. I got trolled there. Hold on. Hold on. Throw. Is that the Stormcaller? No, that's not the Stormcaller. Oh my god. Oh my god. Glad y'all are here to witness this. Oh, did this, that, did that disciple come out of the storm and disintegrate? Oh, that's perfect. We need 13 seconds again. This is crazy. This is actually the perfect setup. To take this on, because he's not going to gain his health back. That's something that we got to keep in mind. That's something, like, very early in the game I wish I'd have known when I was trying to challenge him originally. Because that is crucial. That's a crucial bit piece of information. Throw that, just in case we have to throw it. Oh, he got a lot of health back. What? I wonder what happened.
Okay, throw that. I don't know where it went. Holy smokes. Is this him? Oh, that's the good news. He did heal up a little bit for some... I don't know if it's because he healed off of me or what, but he definitely healed up a little bit. I gotta get rid of this mangler, but he's in the storm. I can't fight the mangler. This might be... this might be GG. We might not be able to do this. There's so many zombies. These guys are tanky as hell. I mean, we could go legendary. We could always come back, like, toward the end. And try it again, but... I don't know. I'm gonna give it a second to see. Because we, we did do pretty decent damage. To a certain point, he won't reheal. Or he's not supposed to. We have pretty much infinite plates. Storm's really trying to get me, though. See that? Alright, we're good. Run back in again. I'll throw that. Okay, we got good timing there. Holy smokes, bro. The end, the amount of zombies just spawning in is crazy. Okay, he's right there. I can throw that down. Oh, we did huge damage to him, but he t I think he teleported away. That's probably really good. I don't know if that helps against him. Did it get... Does it? Oh, he's right there. Oh, look how, look, look how low he is. I can go to this other ammo thing. I don't know. I lost uh, the Stormcaller. Oh, here he is. Come on. Come on. Come on, decoy. No! Oh my god, we almost have him! We're so close! I've wasted so much time on this, some of you guys are going to be so frustrated with me. But it, it's the, the challenge is just too fun. I kind of messed up because I think he got a little bit more healed up at one point than I wanted him to. Like, holy. If I can get these guys out of here, I can definitely get the energy mine pretty quick. They just take so much damage while they're in that storm. Okay, we almost good. Okay, I'm waiting to heal. I'm going to throw this down. Come on, zombies, go for it. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go. We're pushing. We're pushing. Come on, break it. Gotta go get decoys again. Oh god, storm's trying to hit me. I gotta find the actual storm collar. He's right here. Come on, don't let me. There we go. This is the one. This is the moment. Yes. Oh, it's almost the moment for us to die. Oh my god. Yo, I threw a decoy. Throw that crap. Get out of here. Oh my lord, that was the roughest thing I've ever experienced. Not quite, but it was pretty tough. Oh, don't want to do pick that up. We want that though. Out of here. Time to go.
Time to go to the tier 3 zone, high threat zone. That was way too difficult. That was way too difficult. Next time, maybe we come back at Legendary instead. But that was... That was a fun time. And we're actually close over here. We can go, we can go challenge a Mega Bomb. Not a big deal. Kind of close to where we're at. We did waste some time, though. We waste some serious time. All right, Mega. Now, this thing, we might have to actually close the distance pretty close to do big damage because of how this weapon functions, but should be fine. Go ahead and plate up while we're get taking damage here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot of zombies. Those are definitely not tier two zombies either. Hey, give me a break. Bro. Thank you. Okay. We are definitely running out of ammo, but it's okay. Oh, we got bonus points. I am completely out of ammo. What in the hell just happened right there? That was a weird combination. Okay, stick the zombies. Hopefully they all some of them go down. I really need some ammo, zombies. You're not really helping me out here. Um, really? All right, I guess we're going back and getting freaking. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that's definitely a negative for sure. We made it back over here. We're gonna try it again. But yeah, we ran a. I'm pretty sure I had full ammo. When I challenge- why are these guys tier 3? I just noticed that. It's kind of weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what- I don't know what we're supposed to do there. Uh, we don't have a lot of plates, which is kind of unfortunate. I, th I don't think we're going to be able to take it out without going legendary, because we're just going to run out of ammo. Alright, not having plates is such an L. All right, we got some more ammo though. We got one plate. Yeah, I'm like I'm taking down zombies that have plates on. Look me up, bro. Dude, no plates are dropping. And buying plates is not a solution because if we're using plates, but we're not gaining any back. That is overall not a positive. I gotta get around this, because there is plates here on the ground. A couple at least. More than I have. Bro, how do you move so quick? Give me a break. Yo, he turned around and went the other way. He's trying to shortcut me. I just want to take him out. All right, now we're cooking. The same thing, though. He's going to dash over here. We do need some plates again. Got to try to 42 fake him. Let's go. Getting lots of ammo, which is great this time. But I have no ammo to work or armor. Ooh, we got a plate. We got a single plate. Let's go. Got to celebrate our W's. He's almost gone. He's got to be almost down. He's super close. We are cooking. It's actually not bad for a a pack two blue, but. I don't know. I kind of feel like the ammo situation makes it rough. Dude, don't he doesn't want to open his face. Oh, here we go. 
Come on. Are you kidding me? Because there's two zombies hitting me in the back. I was trying to finish them off, bro. You know, I got. You guys don't know about that. What happens when you're trying to fight with no plates? Come on, bro. Show your face. This is silly. Thank you. Still didn't show it long enough. You troll. Dude, this guy is trolling the crap out of me. Now I'm out of ammo. There we go. We got him. Let's go. He didn't swallow the grenade, though. So I don't know why I got that. And if you're surprised why I haven't done that, I honestly just never, never did it. We just did it on accident. So that makes it even more fun. All right, I need to get ammo, and I definitely need to get plates. And then we can go back into the... We can go actually into the high threat zone. I'm going legendary now, though. This thing's proved I gotta go legendary. We're running through too much ammo. All right, we're about to go back in this zone. We need to use our tool. Boom. Legendary. Okay, we're good to go. We burned so much time. We didn't even... I mean, technically, we weren't really in the high threat zone, even though we took on a mega bomb. We fought the storm caller for an eternity. I mean, we definitely can cook in here. That's the good news. All right, let's see what we can find here. There's definitely no bounties, so I don't feel like we really missed out there. There is an opportunity to fight some stuff in the zone, though. We're going to take a little bit of time to do so. Since we didn't really get much time in here. I think, honestly think, the, the, the biggest struggle with this weapon is going to be running out of ammo. I think it's definitely strong, even in rare form like pack three rare pack two rare i mean the, it was strong it felt strong the whole time i don't feel like we needed legendary to be successful but what i can tell you for sure is we needed legendary to do enough damage fast enough to give us a chance not to run out of ammo and i think we're still about to run out of ammo i think it all depends on the drops here all right we're looking all right then just gotta make sure we're picking up all the ammo possible hey, this thing's cooking now Need to go grab some more of our perks. We don't actually have... The one we don't have is one that we could use. Mostly for plating. But it is... I mean, we are doing good over here. Okay. Let me see... Let's go over here see if we can get another Mega Bomb. The usual Mega Bomb spot over by the resupply. The ammo resupply. Now our storm is there. We have a little bit of time. I'm not going to go crazy here. I mean, to be honest... I should have foresaw this being more of an ammo issue than it was. Like I said, if somebody actually tries putting a mag on it just to see if the reserve gets increased at all, that would be pretty cool. I didn't try that pre previously. I kind of felt like it wouldn't for this because that's kind of the information that was presented to me in this. What the hell? My guy was literally like stuck, crouched. Crazy you can cook that hard and still get, just be getting whacked by a trillion zombies. Look at this. It's like a wave. You want your round base? Go here. I just turn around, there's more. These guys are fast, too. Holy smokes. I can't even like look at the ground to see what's on the ground. I wanted more plates, pick up plates. Couldn't do it. These guys are cooking out here. Look at this. Holy. I still disagree with zombies being able to run that fast. All right, we're cooking them. We're still cooking them. Oh, we got we got a mangler. Definitely got to get rid of him. That should not have hit. Dude, look, I'm trying to connect with the guy. I wish aim assist was less strong sometimes, I promise. I know that sounds crazy, but for situations like that, 100%. Like, I'm trying to lock onto a specific target. Okay. We're going to torch his face, hopefully. Yep, we destroyed that almost instantly. Holy smokes. 
Got to run. Got to get ammo. He's chasing us as if he was the fastest thing on the planet. Holy. Come here. Why is he moving? All right, like, how do we decide how many zombies is too many zombies? At some point, it's got to be a, there's got to be a line, right? All right, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted him to do. Last face not dying. There we go. Freaking hell yeah. Destroyed that dude. Yeah, this thing definitely does not struggle legendary. So if you're looking for a, a solid legendary pack three setup, definitely definitely go to this one. This one is is cooking. I think we can even can we fit it? Uh I gotta run. I want the ammo. And then I might I might try to fight one more mega bomb if there's one if we can get there quick enough. Otherwise, I mean, it's been a good run. I'm not upset that we didn't spend more time in the high threat zone because we did do the Stormcaller. To some degree, that is some high threat zone type of content. And then we did... We tried to fight the Mega Bomb. I wasn't... I didn't mean I couldn't have predicted we weren't going to get enough ammo. The first one, and had to go back, so we burned some time there. Wasn't my best time management, but you know what? It happens. Not all runs can be perfect. I wish they could be. I really do. But we might have an opportunity here. I don't know... I don't know if I'll make it to... The, I might have to go final. I don't want to go final, but we'll see. We'll see. I kind of want to try to fight this Mega Bomb. If it's here, if it's not, we'll just go x -Fill. Not a big deal. It's here. We can fight it. We're going to have to be fast, though, because I might actually still be able to make it to the thing. With, considering how fast we destroyed it, its face, before. Oh, this is going to perfect, be perfect. The only thing is not perfect is my RNG of his move set right now. He's not he's not doing the dude, stop sprinting. Yo! That's enough! Holy smokes! We got the bad mechs on that guy. Jesus. Where's he at? Come on. All I need to do is be able to hit him in the face. All that matters. Holy smokes, zombies, relax. I gotta save ammo for this boy. This guy is juiced. I don't know what his deal is, but he is juiced up. Take a break, pal. He's not even giving me a chance, bro. Can you show your freaking stupid purple face? He's mad. I, I see that part. He's literally not giving me a chance. Oh, there's a portal right here. Um, Is there ammo right here? Nope. Dude. This is crazy. Did I even get a s bro? Bro. This is this is harassment. Did I even get any I, I didn't get any M. But this game hates me. Alright, we're done. We're done. We could have killed it fast. The game's trolling me. It doesn't want me to have fun. Alright, we're out of here. You want me to run out of ammo? I'm out of ammo. Congrats. Alright, we made it to our exfil here. This weapon was a ton of fun, but it is very obvious that running out of ammo is going to be a very common problem with it. So if you do choose to use it, 
which I definitely recommend you at least have some fun and try it out. You're definitely going to want to make sure you have ammo or you're picking up ammo as consistently as possible. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.